I just came out of the Dollar Tree. They have so many new items, even paint in the crafter section. I got myself a set of paintbrushes, a watercolor set. Look at these, how cute they are. And a paint palette. All of them are just a dollar each, and I'm gonna see how they are. I got a set of tempera watercolors. These have five paints included, and they're also non-toxic. I have a couple of Dollar Tree paint palettes, but they're all smaller in size. They have the six wells. This was a much larger size and I was really excited to see it there. I also picked up this set of paint brushes. There's seven paint brushes and there's a variation of square brushes and round brushes. I'm going to open everything up. So to test out the watercolors, you want to use the right paper. None of the paper I saw at Dollar Tree watercolor, so I'm using a sketchbook that I already own and this is a Canton watercolor paper pad. The watercolor paper is very important so that you can add a lot of water to the paper without having it to warp and let's just squeeze the paint onto the palette. I'm applying the first four colors, that's the yellow, red, blue, and white, and I first want to create a color swatch and just see how the paint moves on the paper. Just get to understand it better. So to create the color swatch, you want to draw a row and column. So I'm painting the yellow, and then you fill in that box with the yellow paint. You want to wash your paintbrush between colors and pick up the paint with very little water on your paintbrush. So I'm marking the red row, red column, and then painting in the red box. Similarly, the blue row, blue column, and painting it the blue color. The blue color is not as bright as I expected it to be. It looks much more brighter as a paint than it does on the paper. Next, I'm just mixing colors. I'm mixing in a little bit of yellow and red to make this orange shade and painting that in into the appropriate box. A color swatch is a great way to understand how many colors you can create with just these colors and with just these three primary colors you're able to create oranges, greens and purples and it's a fun way to just realize how the paint moves on the paper. Tempera paints are usually student grade paints and I would agree that these are student grade paints but if you've never tried watercolor before and you're just thinking maybe I like it, this is a great set to try. I also just want to take a second here to say I'm totally impressed with the paintbrush so far. They hold a lot of water nicely and there's been no shedding of the bristles. So I'll go ahead now and create a second color swatch, very similar to the first one but I'm mixing in white to each of the colors. This just shows me what kind of lighter tints I can get. So next I want to see how they react when I add lots of water. So I'm using the four colors except white. And you can see how the color just becomes transparent. It's a really light watercolor look. Definitely watercolor look and feel. It's a really nice bright color actually. So I did go ahead and mix my paints and painted a few floral illustrations. And I'll be creating another video on my YouTube channel to show you how you can paint them yourselves. I'll make sure to link it at the top right corner here. So here's a review of these paints friends. Each tube comes with 10 gram of paint and I haven't even used anything today to paint all of these illustrations you're seeing. I think the colors are really beautiful, they're vibrant, very nice quality for the price. They're like 20 cents a piece. Once the paint is dried on top of the paper, I tried rubbing my finger on top of it and there is a little bit of chalkiness to it, but the paint does not lift off easily. I've had other Artist Loft brand paints just lift off and have a really chalky feel to it and they were much more expensive than this. I really hope Dollar Tree comes out with more colors. This would make a great set for a student who wants to just try something new or even just during quarantine if you're stuck at home and you want to try a new hobby. These would be great paints. But the paint brushes, wow, the paint brushes just wowed me. I mean, the paint brushes are of such high quality. There are two different round paint brushes. One of them goes to a fine tip and one of them does not. But none of them shed any of the paint bristles. For $1, seven paint brushes, these are totally worth the money. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of the Dollar Tree Art and Craft products and what you think of them. You guys have the best ideas and always are inspiring me. Thanks so much for watching and spending some crafty time with me today, friends. I hope to see you again in another video. Till then, happy crafting!